salute to hoops guys welcome back to the channel if this is your first time welcome to the channel let's go ahead and set the move right now boom another day another video guys another day in the sports card world and today's a special video we're going to be going over everything that i pretty much purchased at the uh the national card show this past weekend uh i just want to thank everyone for their support on my last two videos uh glad i was able to get that news out to you and i'm glad uh we were able to put uh these people that are stealing in the hobby on blast and uh hopefully he has learned his lesson we will see rumor has it that he was also a uh LCS owner from San Antonio I don't know how true that is but I did hear um, I believe someone told me in the comments on one of the videos actually so um, if that is in fact true then uh, that makes tattoo blue polo dude uh, even that much more of a scumbag so glad we have him out of the hobby at least for right now and uh, hopefully if he does own an LCS people have seen the videos and aren't supporting that guy because we do not need that in this hobby one bit. So, brief recap of the National. It was my first time going, and man, was it amazing. I mean, I thought I had died and gone to heaven, to be honest with you. There was just so much stuff there. It's definitely a multi-day thing for sure because you, you just can't get through that the whole thing, the whole convention center in you know just a few hours there's just so much stuff to look at so many cards so much memorabilia um, but definitely gonna try to go next year I know it's in Atlantic City but I definitely want to go to it because I mean the experience uh, meeting the people that I did um, was just crazy I even if you do follow me on Instagram I did actually run into Pac-Man uh, at the National as well so I took a picture with him that was pretty sweet definitely a cool guy uh, didn't want to talk to him for too long because you know I knew he, he probably had a lot of people coming up to him and he wanted to enjoy his time there too but uh, it was an inspiration getting to meet that guy because he's the one that actually got me into um, actually making these videos uh, during the quarantines when I started last year so uh, it was nice to actually meet a guy that uh, has inspired you to do something uh, in person so definitely a good experience meeting him also uh, Miss Pac-Man was there too she uh, looks like she's like his uh, professional photographer uh, with his videos it looks like she's got some skills too so all in all an amazing experience and uh, wish I could go back wish I could hit the rewind button and go back but we're hitting the fast forward button and looking forward to next year in Atlantic City and hopefully uh, we can have an amazing time there and hopefully it's just as good as an experience as my first time was so if you're at the national let me know how your experience was there uh, mine was amazing and i uh, can't wait to go back for sure guys just i could talk about it forever honestly but that would be a boring video so uh we're gonna go over what i bought at the card show guys so you guys know me uh more so geared towards the budget side portion of the hobby so uh, except for when I yolo on this box of Prism. Uh, that's a different story. But uh, I, I was mostly going through like dollar bins, two dollar bins, three dollar bins, stuff like that. Trying to catch deals and made a lot of deals there. So I'm just going to go over what I actually bought there. And um, tell me in the comments what you guys got, what your biggest purchase was. I didn't, uh, I wasn't really looking for like a, a holy grail card or anything like that. If it came my way, cool. Like I said, I was just more so trying to take everything in because, man, was it overwhelming in the beginning. But once you dive into it, it was just just amazing. So we're going to start off, and I'm going to try to not make this too long of a video. Uh, so I've kind of, I believe I've sorted everything into the play. Like if there's multiples of players, I believe I've sorted them to the best of my ability. So we'll just start with this stack right here. And everything I got is pretty much... I guess higher end stuff so we got like prism and select and stuff there's gonna be some NBA hoops sprinkled in here too for sure I think but for the most part we got a lot of prism so uh, just a bunch of Chandler Hutchinson's right here and I really got him because he's just a former Chicago Bull a little Ellie Okobo prism 
some Bruce Brown uh, Prism rookies, and most of the cards I believe I got are rookies as well. So Josh Okogie select, Dante DiVincenzo select, uh, Bruce Brown and Josh again. I apparently didn't put those in order. We got a pink uh, crack dice, Jerome Robinson, and then just some Jerome Robinson uh, base prisms. Some Jared Vanderbilt. This guy I really like. I'm not too sure how his free agency went. I haven't really uh, done any catching up on free agency, except for what the Bulls uh, have done. So I'm not too sure if he's still in Minnesota or yeah Minnesota or not, because that's where he was playing last year. But uh, I was really hoping the uh, the Bulls would pick him up for sure because he is a he's a solid center uh, in this league. He's just not getting any recognition. He's playing behind Carl Anthony Towns. And he's in Minnesota, which is even worse. So, And then we got, at the end of this stack, we got some uh, Diallos here. I believe he just re-signed with Detroit. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But uh, I, I like the play this guy plays. Still a young guy. I believe he's only 23 years old. So he's got still got a lot of potential left in him uh, with some select and some prism right there. So we will put those to the side. For our next deck, so I ran into this booth and they had uh, an entire dollar box that was like all of these 2003, 2004 tops chromes. Now there are obviously no rookies in there, but let's see if we can just take them off the stack here. Uh, these are all like I don't know some random players I decided to pick up. Uh, I really love the tops chrome 2003, 2004 series. I just think these cards are so clean and just was kind of sorting through players that I thought were cooler cards that were cool like this Michael Olawa Candy for example obviously one of the biggest busts in history um, but still a cool card I think it's cool to for whatever reason collect like draft busts sometimes too so this is numbered out of 500 we got a little Corey Maggette here also numbered out of 500 as well James Jones out of 500 Antonio Davis uh, one of the one of the most down-to-earth Chicago Bulls that I've ever been on the team. Uh, definitely remember when he was on our team. He was the veteran experienced dude. was like 40 years old playing for the Bulls. So uh, out of 500 as well. Silver Ricky Davis. Larry Hughes. These are just some guys that I grew up watching. So little Jerry Stackhouse action. Uh, Silver Darius Miles. Josh Childress. Now I saw this card and I was like, man, dude, that's a name I haven't heard in forever. So that's also out of uh, 399, actually. That was out of 500. 399. And then we have Sebastian Telfair. Now, Silver Prism, uh, Tops Chrome. Uh, a guy whose career obviously didn't pan out, but man, when I was a kid, I thought this kid was, this guy was the truth. I thought he was the second coming, but. Uh, his career just didn't pan out, but still a cool card to have for sure. So this is just really for like the old school PC. Uh, definitely some cool cards in there. I wish I would have just been able to buy everything that guy had because, I mean, he had just had a whole box full of stuff like that. So uh, we got this Derrick Rose Silver Prism. I think this just got thrown in, in a deal. Another Diallo Cracked Ice. Daniel Gafford, uh, NBA Hoops. Uh, red, white, and blue Gafford. This Scotty Pippen I thought was dope too. 2003 Tops Chrome. Nothing really special about it. Just a former Chicago Bull. Uh, when he came back to the Bulls, I should say. Uh, Jordan Bone, Cracked Ice. Some Jalen Brunson. Troy Brown Jr. is still on the Chicago Bulls. I think he's going to be an excellent backup for our team this year. And then these ones are all select. Maybe some... These were actually, this is from the box that I was going through when uh, dude got caught stealing. So <laughs> uh, there's a special memory attached to all these. So we got some Eric Pichal, some Zach Norvell Jr. right there. KZ Okpala, both Prism and Select. Uh, some Optic Eric Pichals. I think he's going to do really well. I think he's playing on, he got traded to Utah. More Eric Pichal. Uh, some Isaiah Robies. We got Luca Simonix here. Silver, not silver, just a regular prism. Mafondo Kevin Gelly. Select Kevin Gelly. Three Jalen Lakes. This is a card that I really haven't seen. I haven't really seen any rookie cards of Jalen Lake. Also, I saw these. I definitely had to pick them up. I think this kid has some real talent. 
Nasir Littles, and then some Matisse Thibels. So, and I don't know if this is just a variation or one of these is select and one of these is concourse. I'm not too sure. But uh, definitely a fan of Matisse Thibel as well. So we'll put those right there. Next stack, guys. I think we're doing pretty well on time here. Some Tremont Waters. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this guy, but I know a lot of people are. Uh, I'm not even too sure if he's still on the Celtics. If he is, he did not get a lot of playing time with them last year. I do know that. I think he's just too small to be in the league, really. Like, um, It's just not, I don't know, not feasible. Him and Carson Edwards. We got some Lucas Simonic Silver NBA Hoops. KZ Okpala. Daniel Gafford. Little Nas Reed. Some more Okpala. I believe this is Hyper... Prism, don't quote me on that. J. Uh, Lynn McDaniels, silver. Found this Markel Fultz. I believe it's a second year. Twenty, yep, second year number to forty-nine cornerstones, which is pretty sweet. Zaire Smith. I'm not even too sure if this guy's in the league anymore, but I like this select card. Josh Okogi, hyper prism, possibly. Jordan Bones, silver prism rookie. This Justin Robinson, I'm not too sure what this parallel is, but beautiful card. Some more Daniel Gafford. Some more Jared Vanderbilt. It's Jerome Robinson, red, white, and blue. And then a bunch, a bunch of Bruce Browns there. I believe he re-signed with the Nets in free agency, if I'm not mistaken. Feel free to correct me. I could be wrong, so... Going on to this giant stack here, guys. Huge stack, huge stack. So uh, what I noticed at the National is that going through the, the, those boxes is that there wasn't a lot of this year's Prism players, like rookies in there. Um, There's more so years past, but I was able to, to snipe out some, so we can go through these. Found this uh, Alex Alex-Pokuchevsky, this Patrick Williams, another Patrick Williams. Josh Green, my boy, and I believe this is just a ton of Lucas Simonics. These are all from the same booth, I remember. Uh, with the uh, all these plus the Lucas, these were all from the same booth. I was able to talk them down, get them a pretty, get them out all on a pretty solid deal. I think for forty bucks or something. So more Lucas Simonics. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this guy. A blue Velocity, Lucas Simonic, Pink Velocity. Lucas Monic, Silver Prism, Jared Vanderbilt, Pink Cracked Ice, Vanderbilt, and then we got four Kevin Herter rookies, three being the red, white, and blue. Had to get those. Kid's going to be pretty solid next year. I think the Atlanta Hawks are going to be a great team for sure. Next, we got a Jalen McDaniels, number to 99. Some more Daniel Gafford. We got some more Josh Okogi rookies here. One of my favorite cards that I got there, guys, this Dennis Rodman uh, Panini Signatures, numbered to 15. Uh, and I believe this is one of the cards that I actually paid more for. Uh, I think uh, me and him came to a deal for 20 bucks. So huge fan of Dennis Rodman. He's one of my favorite players. This is going to be going in my PC for sure. Numbered to 15. There's no signature or anything on it, obviously, but a uh, super low-numbered card, so I definitely had to have that Mr. Uh, Mr. Dennis Rob in there. Some random others, KZ, Gafford, Thibault, Kevin Gelly, Pashal. Was able to pick up this uh, silver, not silver. Why do I keep saving silver? Just a regular prism rookie penmanship, Kevin Gelly. Some more Isaiah Robies. It's Mitchell Robinson, second year, numbered to 49. And it says 12 on here, but I believe this is only like two bucks. So definitely had to get that one. I think the Knicks are also going to be great. Uh, Mitchell Robinson was injured for the last half of the season last year or something like that. So he'll be coming back, and I think it'll be a solid investment there. Got some autos here now. Picked up these this Kurt Thomas and this Darius Miles. Autos and they are both numbered to 16. I actually did not realize that until I got home. So for I think two or three bucks, it was a solid deal. Love Darius Miles and then Kurt Thomas, former Chicago Bull. Moving on, 
we got some fast break autos here and I believe I bought all these for 20 bucks oh, we got Antoine Walker PJ Brown Kenny the Sky Walker and then we got Chris Heron if you have seen his 30 for 30 or know anything about this guy kind of a sad story he ended up getting addicted to cocaine and he was not in the NBA for long but this is the first time that I've ever seen one of his cards so I had to buy that Got some Diallo there, Eli Okobo, Dante DiVincenzo, Silver Prism, Jay Lynn McDaniels. Then we got Silver Jay Din McDaniels, Kevin Gelly, some Denny's, Bruce Brown Silver, Bruce Brown Pink Cracked Ice, Jordan Pooley Silver Prism, some Brunson, Eric Pashal Silver Prism, Siku, and then this red, white, and blue Mitchell Robinson. Rookie card, Prism, sweet purchase. And then I did pick up some graded stuff, actually, guys. So I got two Wendell Carter PSA 9s. I figured, I mean, these were super cheap. He might do something on the Magic. He might not. But I figured, you know what? He's a former Chicago Bull, too. So why not pick those up? I got those in a deal. And then last but not least is this. PSA 9 Silver Prism Devontae Graham. Uh, my girlfriend actually made cut the deal on this, so uh, I believe there's like a $40 price tag on it. She talked the guy down to $30, and long story short, here it is. So she actually, uh, it was pretty cool of her to cut a deal on that, and um, definitely proud of her for making her first deal, especially at a card show like the National. So, And he was just traded too, so... I believe he is now on the Pelicans. Might revive his career because he was kind of a lost. Uh, he was lost down there once the Hornets um, acquired Lamelo. He got kind of lost in the mix. So, all right, guys. Hopefully, this isn't too long of a video. Hope you guys enjoy everything that I bought. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you were at the national, hope you guys enjoyed that too. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all the subscriptions, guys. I'll try to keep pumping out content for you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one, and we are going to be ripping this box. Hopefully, there's something amazing in it, guys. Until then, take it easy.